this is gonna be two videos in one part and prepare to be surprised <clears throat> because of two reasons one this has no story progressions I think but most likely I'm going to do a shrine and the shrine is just gonna be the one I pinned in the map all the way over here on this very corner of the map we are going to battle every boss like enemy that we can and those enemies are taluses hinoxes lionels and the there was one more i swear but i'm not remembering I'm trying to remember hinox Talus, Lionel, and something else. There was something else, I swear. I'm also going to look for Nadra so I can finally be able to upgrade my next armor piece. I'm not doing any shrine quests. I'm only going to do one shrine. I'm going to upgrade my health so that I will now have 25 hearts. But the first boss I'm going to battle is... A rock talus and you would wonder what kind the one I'm going to battle is also I don't remember what this is oh wait that's stallnox so that's only when I'm able to battle it which I can battle it now if I want to but I'll just wait until nighttime most likely the 20th blood moon, blood moon will rise during one of the parts of me doing this but, I'm battling the Rock Talus first, then I'm going to battle the Ice Talus, then the Igneo Talus. And for those, I'm going to battle just one of the, one of each Talus. And then for the Lynels, I'm only about, I'm going to battle three plus one. Three silver and one normal. And then I'm going to battle just the Hinox brothers and the Stallnox right here and then I'm going to battle the Moldugas which I just now realize I remembered what they were which were Lynels, I'm overthinking it, Talus, Lynels, Moldugas and gosh darn it I, I said everything already. What the heck? But, Moldu King, this, this one right here is being rematched last. I'm going to battle the Moldugas last, and I'm battling every Molduga. Even if the Blood Moon rises, I'm only going to battle like three Moldugas and the Moldu King. So, I'm going to do Bravery's Grasp soon. Have I done this in the Heroes mode? No, I have not. I I love the Hero mode. That one's awesome. Dairy Bond Grave. I mean, Dairy, whatever. Dairy Bond Grove. But, the Rock... I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find the place. I don't want to battle this one anymore because it, this one is just weak. I'm going to battle this Lionel. I'm going to battle the Lionel in one of the icy peaks. And then I'm going to battle the Lionel in the bottom right corner. I'm going to battle the bottom right one first just in case. I don't know what's going to happen there. And then see where it goes from there where I go from there because there's one right here there's one at the treasure hoard as well and I'm not able to rematch anything here if anything I might as well also show off the guardian scout for the major test of strength this one right here because it's the best one I'll do modest and major I'm not gonna do minor so there's that I guess the first thing I'm going to do to immediately progress through the story is 
I'm going to go to the shrine. And then I'm going to... And I'm not battling the blights. I said boss-like enemy. That doesn't mean I'm battling the blights. Because the blights are bosses. And I'm not able to battle them again, I don't think. If I am, I'm not going to do it again. In my recommendation, don't watch it if you don't want to see me do bosses only. But if you want to see me do a shrine, then, I, then I'm only doing one. Party! Is that a Stolnox? It is a Stolnox. I'll put that as a sword, but I don't think I need to worry about it. Ah, uh, what is this? Dragonbone Moblin Club. I don't want it. As much as as much as that sucks for me to say. Also, there's a Korok. close. I was gonna write it there, but it would have been wasteful to do. Hiamu Shrine. A very cold shrine, so I wonder what the trial is. I so far have only done tr test of strength and rewarding shrines. I haven't done any actual trials in a while. Are you serious? Another major test. Are you serious? I'm not even gonna stamp that one. I wanted to do an actual try and, and yet this happened. And it's the same one. Oh, great. Well, dang it. I can't believe I encountered this again. And it's the same exact weapon field as well. Oh, screw it. I'm gonna just risk the Guardian Axe. Oh, right. My, ar my armor. I'm gonna equip the Guardian set to make my armor defense 70. And yes, I'm actually gonna count this as a boss battle. But I'm not gonna... Well, I'm gonna battle another major test of strength one. <laughs> what the heck? That wire did not feel like a wire. Oh my word, that was close. Oh great, hold on. That was close. I'm gonna actually break this as well. Oh wow, that actually worked. Crap. I wanted to change my arrows.
There, the Royal Broadsword broke, and now I'm going to have a chance of breaking this. Screw it. Got it. That is good. Attack up plus five. Finally got a good guardian spear. But what about the battle axe plus plus? That's better. Last time I had attack up plus four on the guardian guardian battle axe plus plus. And now and I don't know why I said that, but whatever. Now it's this. Attack up plus thirteen. That one's even better. Than the last one was. Not better than this, but it's still better. I'd actually be surprised if the Savage Lionel Crusher ends up having even more damage. But now I'm gonna drop this and see what this has. Durability up plus again. Oh well. It's still good. It is a Sapphire. Now on to the battles. The Taluses will be will be in normal 125% and 150% speed. The 150% speed. Well, actually, I'm gonna act, turn off my commentary for only one of for only two of the three Taluses, and the one Talus I'm going to battle in normal speed is the icy Talus, just to get it out of the way. So. I'm battling Taluses first. I already said that. But all I'm going to battle are the Taluses first. The Hinox is second. The Lynels will be battled third. And the Guardians will be battled last. Goodbye! Oh, and you're not gone yet. There we go, I created him on the head. As bad as I feel about killing that bear, it was aggressive, so I had no other option, sadly. Well, this is the one I'm battling in normal speed, and then the rest I'm going to turn off my commentary for. Oh, wait, forgot about fire arrows. I'm going to use a different bow. The bow I'm going to use is this. In the arrows, fire. Actually, bomb. Ow! How the heck are you not down? Oh my word. I'm not gonna use his guardian sword. I'm gonna use the savage lionel sword because I'm gonna have another. I'm going to have another one. Gone. I'm also gonna see if I get lucky with the diamonds, which that one didn't drop any. Uh, get me out of here before my eyes go white for, along with the field. So, what I don't get is there is supposed to be three. There is supposed to be more than three Moldugas, but I don't know where the other Moldugas are. So I'm. Just gonna battle however many I can. If anything, I might have even missed one somewhere around here. But I don't know exactly where. Southern Oasis, West Barrens. This is where I battled one of the Moldugas. So I don't know where 
I've missed one. So now I'm going to bow off commentary the normal and the well the normal one and the igneo one. Belling the normal one first. Well, actually, screw it. I'm going to bow the igneo one. So I'm going to wear some magma armor. So I'll only queue when I am going to battle it. Enter 150% battle against this igneo. After this, I'm going to do an actual cut, and the next time I'm going to record this, it's going to be a, in a while for me. For you guys, it will be in an instant. But, I have a lot of edits for my part, along with a lot of other things that I was hope, hoping to do by the end of July. may not like this, but I'm not gonna do an LP of Pikmin 4, and the only reason why is because of the other LPs I had planned. But, Nintendo's- well, I am playing Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And, maybe, I'll return on streaming the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Pokemon- well, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Spectaculars, which means catching more Pokemon. But welcome back for some more Breath of the Wild. Never mind about my, that introduction because I am just updating to you guys that this is this is recorded on the day after the last clip. I don't know why I even thought of doing an introduction because my word, I already did. I I honestly forgot for an instant that I was still doing part sixty nine. That Hinox is the only one I'm gonna battle like that. But for the other ones, I'm gonna just try my luck.
press the thing. Every time bees startle me, when I get stung, it always startles me. Now, funnily enough, I think I have the timing to battle against a Stolnox. And the Stolnox I'm going to battle against, because I don't remember where the last one was. So that means, so I'm going to battle this one right here. Bravery's Grasp. And this one is going to be for commentary, so I'm going to turn down the audio volume to the perfect volume. But... That's the last Hinox that I'm going to battle before battling against the Guardians. Because I've decided to battle the Guardians. And what Guardians is just the test of strength ones. And I said I was going to skip. But now I know what I'm hearing. That's gross. But I'm skipping one of the things which is let's see if this stone ox is awake I don't know yet it is so mainly I'm doing my I'm doing modest and major tests of strength for the guardians and then afterwards I'm doing, and I'm not doing the Guardians as in the Decay Skywatcher and all of that because you can see them almost everywhere. So the next one is Lynels and then Moldugas. Battling the Moldugas last. But now I'm battling this Stolnox. And I have picked up and I showed what it was like. The items that were pretty worthless. I don't think I'm going to need any of what I will be getting. So if the eye pops out, I'm using this. Oh, this is going to be easy. And it has... Oh, it, ha it normally has 1,000 health. I'm still going to use this, though. Goodbye. And I love how it breaks apart. Moonlight Scimitar, Royal Halberd. Did, I re Did it really only drop one thing? Man. I thought it would drop way more than one, but only dropped like one thing along with the weapons. I'm gonna see what each of these has. The Great Thunderblade has Durability Up Plus. I'm actually gonna drop this for that. And then the Moonlight Scimitar, I don't think I would care. It doesn't have very good stuff. Then the Royal Halberd has Long Throw. So, I'm keeping my Guardian Spear that, that has attack up to 25. So, that's all of the Hinoxes. And now I'm battling the Guardians. All of them are going to be normal speed. And I'm going to battle this one over here and this one over here. I don't know how I just realized I almost have 12 more shrines left. I noticed that on my on the last clip but somehow I just forgot. 
because somehow my mind was like, I need 16 more. But no, I need 13. And there's two shrine quests. Except for I don't think any of these weapons I'm about to get are going to be useful because the major test of strength shrine matters the most. I'm just battling this boss. And then I'm going to drop I'm actually going to use this Guardian Shield plus because of what I have. I'll drop the Dragon Bone Boko Shield for the Guardian Shield plus or keep it and have the Guardian Shield plus plus and drop that for the Guardian Shield plus plus. Even though the Guardian Shield plus plus has 60 so I should just drop this. I have I honestly don't know. Yep. Screw to the fence, I have fifty already. So I has fifteen hundred HP normally. Mine not. Darn it. I thought I was gonna... This is gonna be an easy fight. There we go. My bow broke, so I'm very low on bows again. But I'm gonna use this one. Good, bye. So there's a battle axe and a shield. I didn't ignore the chest. Battle axe plus. I'm gonna drop the spear and see what it has. Long throw. Worthless. And then what about the Guardian Shield Plus? This one is already good. I'm gonna drop this just to see what this has. The same shield up. Shield guard up. I'm gonna drop it because I think the Guardian Shield Plus Plus is gonna be even better. So now I'm going to the major test of strength. And then after that, I'm going to... Something that surprised me is if one of the shrines is actually on water. Even though I doubt it, because all the shrines that rose up from the water are DLC shrines. So that's why I'm doubting that there will be a shrine on water. Uh, the thing I don't... The thing I still stand to this day is Tears of the Kingdom only thing that I don't like is Koroks. They added more Koroks and I don't like it. Oh, this one doesn't have a shield. Yeah, it's one it did. Breaking this sword. Getting out of the way. Darn it. I need to raise my defenses. I'm gonna raise my defense. Wherever it is. With this. I don't have a weapon, so leave me. So I'm gonna use. Screw it, I'm using this. Look how much damage that does. I don't know how I timed that, honestly. There we go. This is gonna this is gonna be a piece of cake.
There we go. Not the major test of strength that I was hoping for, because I was hoping for a Guardian Shield plus plus. So what does this Guardian Spear plus plus has have? Not worth it. But I'm gonna see what this has, which has attack up plus ten. That's even better. And then this that has attack up plus sixteen, which is even better than the last Guardian Sword plus plus that I had. Or I think I had a Guardian Sword Plus, so it was Guardian Sword Plus, I meant to say, but in a different meaning. So now I'm looking for another major test of strength, wherever that may be. Because there I'm going to see if I can find another thing. Every shrine that has a sword on it means it's major test of strength. Oh yeah, Major Test of Strength Plus. I, so it does say Major T Test of Strength Plus. I actually forgot it does say that. I'm still gonna go there. Well that took a long time. Does this have a shield? I at least want a shield. There we go. Darn it. I'm gonna break this spear because of there being another one. Ow! It's like it barely mattered. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna break this shield. Darn it! My word! I just did what was best. I'm gonna use this, screw it. My Guardian Shield Plus broke. Which is fine. Darn it, my Dragon Bone Boko Shield broke as well. Dang it. That was not what I wanted. I'm gonna use this. Oh wow. There we go. There we go. I have to time that crit very well. I don't want to do your thing already. You didn't even do it, that was worthless. What you were trying to do. So I can get out if I want to, which I am definitely going to. So, the Ancient Battle Axe plus plus has attack up plus 12, which is even better than the last one. So, that leads me to a predicament of what I want to drop. The Guardian Shield plus plus has Shield Guard up plus 9. Which is great. I think I'm just gonna leave this behind, but I'm gonna see what it has first before I think about it. If it has durability up plus, then I. Yep. Even worse, it has long throw. So, yeah, that definitely helped with my decision. I don't like long throw on anything. So. Now. I'm going to battle against the Lynels. And the Lynels that I'm going to battle against, I'm battling against one normal one somewhere around here. I'm gonna battle. It's right here that I have to go. It's near Ployma's Mountain. And then I am going to cut. Well, of course, I've been cutting, but then I am going to battle three silver Lynels. One at the Colosseum, one in the bottom right, and one in the winter region. Now, what would surprise me here, which it didn't happen, I'd be, I would have been surprised if this Lynel was, was silver as well. But he's just a normal one. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I'm not picking up any of his weapons. I'm only battling him for fun. I'm using the Savage Lionel Crusher. Come on. There we go. This is gonna be easy because my armor defense is insane. Crap. Bye. Suck it. I suck at using the parry against this guy. I'm gonna use this. This is gonna be easy. Oh. Oh, never mind. I was like, oh, so they didn't drop anything. But I was wrong. I don't know why, but I love this great fairy. It's about how crazy she actually is. I can I thought I could upgrade my climber's bandana as well. Oh yeah. I can upgrade all of these. Also, what else do I need? Ice key screen. So I can do all of these. Not really, I need one more Hightail Lizard to upgrade it to two stars. But, the thing I was looking for was this. Which I can do for every upgrade. So I'll do that. So I'm gonna do the Snow Quill Headdress because that's what I mainly use. Mm. I still like how crazy she is about that. So, with double checking, the champion's tunic that I have on right now is in need of a shard of night of. I keep saying, I keep wanting to say Nidra, it's Nadra's horn. Which I'm hoping it does because I'm hoping to battle that one first, the sword one second, which I'm pretty sure is in the Colosseum. Actually, the Colosseum has two different weapons. And then... The... Other one being... I guess it's random every time. Okay, so it still makes me cold. I think that is the spear one. This is gonna be pretty tough. With the defense I have. Can I... Have... Which it looks like I can, but I don't know if that's like the only one there. Yeah, that is the only one. I don't know why, but it is. I'm certain this is the spear one. I'm not going to use a lino bow on this one. I'm going to just use the royal bow. I'm going to use the lino bow against one other, but it's not this one. Also, I need more arrows, my word. I use up my arrows like... Nothing.
I'm gonna keep my commentary off, but I can't believe I parried that charging sword swing. Man, just imagine how long it would take me to defeat three of those things. Because my word, that took me a long time just to beat one of them. Savage Lionel Bow has Quick Shot. Of course, it has Quick Shot. This one has this one has a good one, but this one has Quick Shot. You got me kidding me. And then the Savage Lionel Sword has Long Throw. Why does it have Long Throw? So I have that. Really? Oh, it's the same sword wielder. Are you kidding me? Well, at least it's better than the... Well, actually, that was what I wanted. I don't know why I'm thinking. Also, I need more arrows. Completely forgot about that. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, 
My word, now I'm dead. I'm dead with it. I'm gonna switch my arrows. I'm gonna switch them to this. Perfect. I love that it's raining as well. I'm gonna just switch. Oh, perfect. I didn't think I had that. What the heck? What the heck was that? Oh, come on! I'm gonna heal just in case. And I'm gonna heal with the... Not this, because that's for our last resort. But I'm gonna have... Like, I guess if I don't lost this one, I'm gonna have this. Got him. Let's see if the, this sword is any better than the last one. Shock arrows, for instance. Diamond de Yayo. Travis Lionel's shield has durability up plus. My words, like I don't even need any more Seven's Lionel shields. Seven's Lionel shields are my favorite shields. Because a uh, Hylian shield is the o uh, there's only one of those, and that has the best shield defense in the game. And now, what does this sword have? Thank goodness. I'm gonna use up this first. Savage Lionel Bow has attack at plus 11. That's my that's the best one. Not the best damage wise, but that's the best one. As in, it's the one I was really hoping for. Going to Terrytown. Then I'm going to do the. Also, that's a minor test, right? Yeah, it's a minor test. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna go to Hylia and get another heart container afterward. I'm gonna battle one of the Lionels and just get a heart container from him. From her! I'm gonna start it! Also, I don't know why I didn't do it. I didn't uh, increase my defense against that Lionel. Terrytown! Still no arrows? Oh wait, yeah, you do have arrows. You just don't have fire arrows. <laughs> Bomb arrows. Could buy a lot of those, but I have a, I have a good amount already. I'll buy... how many do I have? Here, I have 98. I'll buy not two because I'll make it 69. I'll screw it because it's a part number, so I might as well. <laughs> Ancient gear I could, but I'm not going to. Also, what does this say? Slippery Falcon, Terrytown Branch. Yep, that's a Lionel. Yes, this is the one with the spear. Thank goodness. I'm actually gonna keep the fire arrows. I'm willing to give you all that I got! During this onslaught, I'm using the champion's tunic and the guardian leggings. If I haven't picked up the guardian leggings already, which I have. <laughs> Only worst thing is. If this guy has gas yes, there, what am I doing? Change the thing to a sword. There we go. 
The line with the spear is insane, as you're about to see. I'm actually gonna equip an even higher defense mechanism because of it. My word, where is this thing? I can never seem to find it in the right timing. Shield. My cat being annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this grip. Oh wow, I got it. I didn't expect that. I honestly thought I was gonna mess that up somehow. <laughs> Protection is now ready to roll. Oh, I got him. Yeah, again, didn't expect that. Every time he roars, that's my perfect chance for shooting in the head before he does that in with an attack. Might as well just do this. Go start it! I'm gonna real quick pick these up. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Uh, drop a bow. Which bow though? Uh, drop the one with quick shot. He's willing to give me another chance. And yet again, I'm gonna mess it up again. So the spear has durability up plus, just like the other one. The other things, I guess these are sorted by durability or something. Either that or by damage or something. So much wish I would have seen its face. That would have been perfect. Then the next line on belling is in the Colosseum. It's pretty funny because it. I saw the wind and I was like, wait, does that mean what I'm thinking it means? And I was right. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, yep, he is coming back. Man, I wish I was faster than him. Because I was going to try to get his fang. My word. I cannot go any faster than this guy. I gotta try to use the phrenic bow and just get lucky. There, I got his mouth. Is that, a, is that a Korok down there? Yep. That looked out of place to be anything else. Other than if it was something... Oh, there it is. Let's see if I got it. Yep, I did. Shard of Ferocious Fang. I had to be lucky with that. And I got it. I'm going to the Nehru and seeing if I can find the... Nadra. Because I need the Nadra for the horn so that I can upgrade my champion's tunic to 22 so that I can get more armor defense for when I use different pairs of armor and get higher than 70. I would have 78 armor defense. And see if I ended up needing the piece of Dinral's Fang as well or if it's just the horns.
So the first chest has Royal Claymore with long throw. Who cares about that weapon? The second one, betting it has the same weapon. Oh, it's a whale bow with attack at plus 13. Do I care? The answer is yes, I do. I'm gonna drop one of these bows, but I don't know which one. I'm thinking. My word, is it even better than this one? I'm thinking this one. Even though. Oh yeah, the fucking bow will help me against the lightning. So yeah. Now I'm gonna battle the other Molduga. On the other side. Halting my search, I am going to go back to Lanayru and see if I can find this. I'm gonna see if I can find this. Nadra, this dragon spirit. Let's see if I can finally get the horn so I can upgrade my champion's tunic and know what to do for the next one. But I swear, Nadra is insane for how fast she is and how big she is. She's bigger than anyone else. And my apologies for ones who are tired of me saying she. She just, she just looks like a female like dragon spirit. That's why I'm saying she. I'm gonna battle a Molduga. Defeat it and get its thing. Whatever its loot is. And then... I'm going to find Nadra. If anything, I'm going to find Nadra first. I should have just waited.
I thought I thought of doing that and somehow it worked. Goodbye. This has a Drudo Spear with attack of plus 15, I don't care. And this has a Royal Claymore with durability up plus, which I do care about. Well, what do I want to drop for it is the thing. Because all I all that I have here is already pretty good. And these are better than the Royal Claymore because they have 58 damage, of course, and durability up plus. So, sadly, I am going to just leave it. And instead, I'm going to battle the Moldu King later because Nadra should be nearby. So, that means I'm going up north of that place. The thing I'm curious about is, as well, what the what will Tears of the Kingdom do in, in terms of champion armor? Will it be the same thing where you are supposed to remember a certain amount to get that? Or is it going to be different? Oh dang it, she's right there. There's no way I'm going to be able to get there now because if I warp that will that will despawn her. How the heck did she show up there? There was no indication. I'm glad you rematched this guy at least because if you weren't able to rematch him I would have been upset. There we go. I got him with bomb arrows. I'm gonna also equip the great thunder blade. Turning off my commentary. Yes, I had to make it dramatic. What of it? Because I was finishing it off, so I decided to make it dramatic. So now let's see what we get from these. I'm not gonna, <clears throat> I'm not gonna pick, carry any of these. In this one, it's the Royal Guard Shield with Shield Guard at plus 15. Screw that, because its low durability sucks. This. Which is a golden bow. Huh. I did I never knew this this was here. This Gerudo made bow is popular for the fine ornamentations along its limbs, designed for hunting and warfare alike. This bow was engineered to strike different distant targets. Distant targets. I could actually but I don't know if it will attract lightning discard the phrenic bow for that because my word maybe I will yep. 
I'm just hoping it doesn't attract lightning during thunderstorms. Then this is worthless. World Guard's bow. So I got one good thing that I never knew was there. But now I'm going to Zora's Domain. And I'm going to sleep on a, on a seawater bed or whatever it's called. And go find Nadra one more time before I just give up and wait until next part to do because I want to find Nadra so that I can get the horn after I find the Nadra I'm ending the video so mainly I did say this part was optional to watch in the beginning but how long this video was recorded for for me was two and a half hours and I have no idea how long it will be for you guys because all I did was all the stuff that I did. The Taluses, the Hinoxes, the Guardians, the Lynels, and the Moldugas. But and it's anywhere from midnight, there she is, to six. Hopefully this works because I will love it if this works. Crap! No! Oh really, and there's a suiting star right there too. Dang it, that was not where I wanted to hit her. Unless that somehow g gives me the horn. But that didn't give me a horn for what I know. I know that I know for a fact this is gonna be a scale and not a horn. If it's a horn, that'll, that'll surprise me. Nope, I knew it was a scale. So now I'm gonna go to this place and see if she appears again. Because if not, I'm gonna have to wait for another whole Zelda day. I'm doing one more, and then I'm going to end the video. Either when I succeed or when I don't succeed. So now I'm going to go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here and see if I can face off against this now that I know where to go should be right over here and then at midnight I would be seeing her from that hill my guy go to the right place Korok. I'm just finding all sorts of Koroks. So in part 70, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a shrine quest, the royal guard side quest, and find a shrine. See if I can find a shrine. So this video is gonna be three hours long for me, but for you guys it's not gonna be that long. It's gonna probably be somewhere around an hour. Hold on a moment. Oh, there she is. How the heck did she come from over there?
I'm assuming she's gonna come back to that to this place. There. There we go. Now I'm finally able to go back into the Great Fairy Fountain and upgrade my I'm gonna upgrade my champion's tunic. So I'm going to upgrade my champion's tunic at long last. Now I'm going to see what it requires for the last upgrade. Ten Silent Princesses and the Shards of Dinral's Horn. So, the fangs don't do anything apparently. Unless they somehow do for one of the upgrades. Aww. So I need ten Silent Princesses. But now my armor defense is 62. And with every guardian set, it's 78. I forgot, what was the armor defense for the champion's tunic? And then I'm gonna end it here. Ah. 32, okay, I just wanna make sure. Next time in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we are going back into Hyrule Castle and Aww. getting the Royal Guard gear. <laughs> Which, for Hyrule Castle, I'm gonna cut everything because of. Well, cut everything except for the room because I am going back into Hyrule Castle for the finale and dealing with everything there. And it's gonna be a stream. And then for like five minutes, like you hear the uh, the epic OST of the outside. How the heck are you not running away? I was really close to that thing, and it wasn't running away. <laughs> <laughs> 